Good morning, YouTubians. It's Kim. It's Ghost. It's Monday. It's bloody hot outside, and I'm about to pop into Asda. I already have the films bought and posted to me already, so uh, I'm just going to go in there really and see what they do have on the shelves in case uh, you can't buy anything online uh, for any reason. So we'll have a look inside, see what they're stocking. I don't hold out much hope for them stocking anything because they haven't changed anything since Star Wars. So I'll have a quick pop in there and then I'll come out and show you what I picked up. So let's head inside and see what they got. So I'm not really sure why I put a bit of music over this because I'm going to talk all the way through. Anyway, there's a young girl and she is putting out the new titles, but there's only one out today that they're going to stock. Don't know if it's sold out already or they just haven't put it out, but they've got the DVD version there of 1917. Hey everybody, welcome back. Now these are the movies that I picked up, I brought them with me. So we'll crack on with Airstrike. I uh, don't know if you can see that very well because it's very bright in here. Airstrike starring Adrian Brody and Bruce Willis and Fan Bingbing. Now there's a good name for you. Fan Bingbing is about Chinese, I think it follows like three Chinese women during the war that are trying to protect a machine. So that's that one. It's supposed to have really ropey effects and probably bad acting as well. But it's Bruce Willis, so I have to have it in the collection. The next one is The Chamber. I don't know if you can see that very well. The Chamber, I'll do that. Looks claustrophobic. It's set um, on the open waters. It's kind of like, probably like the film Open Water. It says, the tagline is, there's no treading water here. So that looks really good. My kind of film. Next one is... Bombshell. Now, I've seen a trailer for this and uh, it doesn't really give a lot away, which is a good thing. Stars Charlize Theron, Nicole Kidman and Margot Robbie and uh, Jonathan Lithgow is in this as well. It's a slip with it. Nice glossy slip. Uh, yeah, looking forward to that one. Great cast. Great cast. The Green Man. This one comes out today or came out today. It's Alistair Sim, George Cole, Terry Thomas. And it's about uh, Alistair Sim's character who is um, like a watchmaker and he's also an assassin as well. So that looks good. It's from 1950 something. I can't see the date because I haven't brought my glasses with me. Um, it's a brand new restoration on this as well. So great cast. Don't write off these old films just because they haven't got the special effects. Acting is top notch. 1917, this one has got like a nice glossy slip and uh, it's supposed to be done in the style of like one take, like one continuous take, obviously it probably wasn't because that would be too fiddly, but uh, it's supposed to be very, very good. It's Sam Mendes film uh, and I heard that there's one particular scene with a baby and I'm looking forward to seeing this one because I do like a war movie. The slip is the same as the other one, no code with this. I don't think we do codes in the UK to be honest. And a, a German import of Peppermint, a revenge story starring uh, Jennifer Garner. I like her, 13 going on 30, well, loads of things, so. But it's a revenge story, and we didn't get the UK release of this. I don't know, I think this has been out since December in, uh, in America, but this is German. Um, has an English audio track on that, which is good. Ants. Uh, DreamWorks film, seen this a dozen times. My kids grew up on these kind of films. And this is also like one of those things that uh, America, uh, not America, uh, Hollywood does where they release two films very similar, like Dante's Peak, Volcano, Deep Impact, and um, uh, what's the other one? Armageddon. This one came out around about the same time as Bugs Life, I believe. And it's just sort of very good. It's got the voice actors, Sylvester Stallone, Woody Allen, I know he doesn't appeal to a lot of people, but I like him, but uh, that's that one, DreamWorks, Ants. And the last one is another import, it's a German import, it's a new title by any means, but it uh, stars Kirk Douglas and Martin Sheen, very young Martin Sheen. It's about um, an aircraft carrier that sort of um, it sails into a storm, a big electrical storm, lots of effects going on, and then suddenly they're transported back in time uh, from the 80s, I think it's 80s, early 90s, late 80s, 
transported back to uh, 1941, around about the attack of Pearl Harbor, just before the attack of Pearl Harbor. Obviously, they have this aircraft carrier with superior weapons. They've got like the uh, the F-14 Tomcat aircraft, and uh, they're up against the um, Japanese kamikaze like pilots. So this looks really good. I'm surprised this hasn't this story hasn't been remade because uh, technology today. I'm always saying this: if they went back with like stealth bombers, how would they fare? Looks really good. So that is those. Quick recap. Final countdown, Ants, Peppermint, 1917, The Green Man, Bombshell, The Chamber, and Airstrike. Let me know if you've seen any of those, and I will get back to you down in the comments, I promise. Give it a thumbs up, I would appreciate it, and subscribe if you haven't. Why wouldn't you? It's all free. Thank you so much for choosing my channel today, and take care, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.